Hey guys, a little late with this video. Uh, I was planning to do this like a month ago. Uh, third year I've done, third, the third or fourth year, I don't remember, maybe just the third year of my uh, year in review, favorite watches, uh, favorite watch finds for the past year. And these are all my favorites from uh, 2022. So all these were sourced at uh, thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, estate auctions. And a couple, I think I might have got a, a call in uh, for a card or two I left. But I guess we'll dig in. Top watch up here. Found that at a, uh, a state sale this year. Very nice uh, Caravel. They call it a half devil diver. That's the uh, three, 333 feet uh, dive watch. It's a uh, unisex, so it's kind of small for a dive watch. Uh, 33 or 34 millimeters, uh, but still cool piece there. You really don't find those in that good a condition. Found this uh, Hamilton at a thrift store. Uh, I think I showed all these in videos this year. So if you're going to go back to my previous, previous videos, you can find more about uh, how I found these watches. Uh, this one was a thrift store find and uh, 14 karat gold. I think I found uh, four solid gold watches this year and then found three omega watches this year i think that's a record i usually only find maybe one or one every other year uh omega watches uh but found three this year these two found at uh, garage sales and then this one was found at a, a thrift store So a, a grail piece over here for me, I was hoping to find one of these at a uh, garage sale and sure enough, uh, found one of these. This was on an ask, uh, guy didn't have any watches out and I asked him if he had any old watches and stuff and he brought this one out. So this uh, watch does work, uh, just I didn't want to uh, leave a battery in it. So that one does work. Another ask at a garage sale, guy brought out a bunch of watches and this was included. This uh, Wakeman chronograph, uh, just for parts repair, but really uncommon to find any type of vintage chronographs out there in the wild. And another uh, thrift store find, this uh, Ernest Burrell uh, cocktail watch. So very nice uh, men's size, uh, large size. You don't really find those too often. And found this one, this... Uh, Bulova Accu Quartz got that at a local uh, estate auction, and I probably wear this watch the most of all these watches. Kind of a, a daily wear. Found this uh, at a estate sale for only two dollars. So this is I think from two thousand eight. It's a Seiko a Black Bullet uh, dive watch. From what I understand, I think they only made this model for one year, so it's pretty collectible. And I've seen uh, asking prices on this watch in the five to $600 range. And realistically, it'll probably sell for around maybe 400. And nice uh, cosmetic condition on that watch. Another gold watch this year, uh, this Bulova. And recent pickup, this Hellbros, and I think this is either uh, 10 or 14 karat gold. And the Seiko, these uh, Seiko digital watches kind of fly under the radar. You can still find these pretty often at uh, thrift stores. And uh, this one is special because it was, uh, this model was in a James Bond movie. The, uh, I can't recall which movie, but it was like the prop on this watch was it uh, displayed a secret message through like a like a ticker tape that came out the top or bottom of it. And uh, James Bond got a secret message from that watch model. Couple of Turnas uh, like these. These have the Accutron uh, tuning fork movements in those. I ended up paying, uh, I think, $100 for the entire flat of watches. I sold just the junk stuff that was in there. Made over $100 uh, on that, so these watches ended up being free. Another recent purchase, this uh, Gruen uh, Verithin uh, Pan Am watch. 
This is probably the most expensive watch I bought this year, uh, $180, but it is uh, 14 karat gold, uh, outstanding condition. And I think it's probably worth at least three times what I paid for it. It's another uh, watch in my personal collection and have this, uh, can't really see the name on it, is it? Anyways, it's a uh, probably 1940s uh, chronograph. I bought a flat, uh, I think this was on a Facebook find. Guy had a whole group of watches and this was part of it. So love to find any old chronographs. Another recent uh, purchase within the past couple months, this uh, bowl of Accutron. It's running. And then probably one of the most uh, valuable watches this year. Uh, this was also on an ask. A uh, guy didn't have any watches sitting out and I asked him if he had some watches and he brought this one out. Uh, he got this in the military when he was in Vietnam. I think it's from 1968. Very rare to find watch this old with both boxes. Has the original paperwork and receipt. So I have this uh, bowl of oceanographer. Very cool watch there. And then have a couple Accutrons left. I bought out a uh, jewelry store that had a bunch of old inventory from the uh, mid 70s to early 80s. And up uh, paying, I think, 550 for all the watches. I've since sold just a handful of them and got all my money back. So uh, all these watches are free. I just pulled out these uh, Bowl of Accutrons, I still have in my personal collection. Have that one up there. And the one over here. And then that one. So yeah, these are the uh, my favorite watch finds from uh, 2022. In the past, I had sourced probably almost half my watches at local estate auctions. But because of COVID, almost all my local auction companies have since went online. So uh, I thought it would be uh, pretty hard to find any really cool vintage watches this year. But uh, it's pretty much a record year for me for finding uh, old watches. So you can still uh, source these, like I said, at uh, garage sales and uh, estate sales and thrift stores. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.